Greetings, friends of typography. For centuries, typesetting was done using type cases. The number of compartments in such a type case isn't huge, but certainly sufficient for alphabetic scripts. But then came the typewriter and its character set was severely limited. But even more than a hundred years after the introduction of the typewriter, almost all keyboards we use today are still based on the typewriter's keyboard layout. Even the virtual keyboards on our phones use the same system, now with even less keys in a much smaller space. But if you care about typography, you will need more characters than those that are visible on a modern keyboard. So in this video I will share one of my favorite typesetting tips. A way to quickly access any Unicode character you need on a regular basis directly while typing. It's something I use almost every day. I will demonstrate it on Apple devices, but I also link options for other operating systems in the description. So let's cue the intro and get started. There are lots of apps and websites which will let you browse all Unicode characters using categories, keywords and so on. And this is fine when you need a certain character just once. You can find the character, copy it to the clipboard and then paste it in the app where you need it. But it's just too time consuming if you have to do it over and over again for the same characters. So my tip to solve this is to use a text replacement function. Usually the general idea of this functionality is to create a short version of longer repetitive phrases. For example something you put under every email. Instead of writing best regards, first name, last name 20 times a day, you just create a short code which will automatically be replaced by the full phrase. But since you can set up arbitrary replacements, we can also use this function to create single characters that cannot easily be accessed otherwise. And with Apple devices, this functionality is already built into the operating system and it even works for all of your devices with just one setup. So for example, you can conveniently set up the text replacements on your Mac, but they will also be available on your iPhone or iPad. To set up text replacements on macOS, we open the System Preferences and go to Keyboard Text. On Apple's mobile operating systems, it's under Settings, General, Keyboard, Text Replacement. The interface is pretty self-explanatory. There is one column for the shortcut and one for the phrase that should appear when the shortcut is being used. There are some replacements which almost always make sense, like replacing the letter C in brackets with the copyright symbol. But I do recommend that you use a custom prefix for most of your personal shortcuts. This way you can make sure that the replacement will only take place when you really want it. Pick a prefix you can easily access in your language, but that wouldn't normally appear in the text or code you write. In my case I went with two exclamation marks. And after the prefix you just add something you can easily remember to identify the characters you want to appear. For example, I use my prefix plus the letter X to create the multiplication symbol. Or you can use an entire word. For example, I use my prefix followed by the word hand to access the Unicode symbol right pointing index. Even though I have to type 6 characters in this case, this requires still just a fraction of the time I would need to open and scroll through a character palette to find this symbol. Now of course you have to do that once while you set up your replacements, but after that you can just use your custom shortcuts and this will save you a lot of time while typing and you can also avoid workarounds like using the letter X as a multiplication symbol in your actual text. By the way, this functionality is available on the system level, so it works with most apps. 
You can use it in a browser window, in your email client, in design apps, word processing apps and so on. As long as they were built with Apple's text engine. There can be a few apps which come with their own text processing and don't support this functionality. But in this case I usually just switch to an app that does support this feature, type my shortcuts there and then copy and paste the result. Even with this workaround, it's still usually the fastest and most convenient way to get to all the special characters I need on a regular basis.